Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fianon and today I'm coming at you with a very different video but a very exciting one nonetheless. I'm sure you can tell by the title and the thumbnail what this is but just in case you haven't quite worked it out yet I am actually getting a puppy. She is a female Springer Dor, which is a Springer Spaniel crossed with a Labrador. She's eight weeks old and her name is Kiwi. I do just want to say though that this is not a lockdown puppy. I know quite a few people over lockdown have bought dogs and puppies especially and a lot of them now are being sent to rescue centers because the owners didn't realize just how much work puppies and dogs are. Tom and I have always wanted a dog. I do actually have two dogs at my family home and so I know how much time and effort having a dog takes. So yeah like I said we've always known that we wanted a dog and we have actually been actively looking for over a year now. It was when we first moved into this house we wanted to get one straight away but a lot of different factors came into play where it just wasn't the right time and so we did put it off for a bit. Obviously lockdown was a massive factor in everyone's lives last year and this year still and that made it extremely hard to find rescue dogs. I've always wanted to rescue a dog. I have also been looking at rescuing cats but the problem there is is that we wanted quite a big dog but I do also own a cat that lives with me and I do have a three-year-old niece and so a lot of the dogs on the rescue sites were ones that were quite older, they wanted adults only homes with no pets or they were ones that were going to need a lot of care and attention and a lot of money put towards them because of some health issues that they had, joint problems, things like that. And so realistically at this point in our lives the best option in a way was to get a puppy. Like I said, I have a cat, I have a three-year-old niece, I do want children eventually, not anytime soon, but who knows what the universe has in store for us. And then there's also the fact that Tom and I are both training to become teachers. That means that hopefully from September onwards we will be in a full-time job in schools five days a week. And so if we were to get a dog, we wanted to get a puppy in order to train her to know that we were gonna have this sort of schedule. Just before Christmas we got the news that schools in Wales were likely to close for a while and in a way this was the perfect time because like I said we've always wanted a dog we now had the time to get a dog and train her whilst schools are closed and whilst we wouldn't be going into schools on placement and then one night Tom actually found a litter of puppies and they were a cross between a Springer Spaniel and a Labrador now I haven't mentioned this before but Tom was always very set on having a Springer Spaniel as a dog and I was very set on having a German Shepherd or a Labrador and so to find a litter of pups that were a mix of both of the dogs that we really wanted and the dogs that we found had the best qualities to what we were looking for at this point in time it was just like every everything came together at the perfect time to give us the chance to get a dog. And that is essentially how we came across Kiwi. So I went on this listing, I talked to the owner for a bit and I asked her if she had any dogs that were just all black because again that was something that Tom and I really wanted. To be honest it wasn't a massive thing, it's just if we could have an all black dog then we really wanted to. And luckily she had one and that was Kiwi. Straight away we wanted to reserve her and the best thing is the owners are very local to us and so following the Covid guidelines at the time we were actually able to go and meet Kiwi, which was just the loveliest and most exciting thing. As soon as we saw her in person, we knew that she was the dog for us. And so we reserved her and paid the deposit straight away. Since then, we've had daily pup dates through FaceTime and it's just been the cutest thing. Obviously, it's really sad that we're not able to go and see her more and let her get used to us before moving. But as restrictions have gotten a bit tighter, we decided that for the safety of everyone involved, we would just continue to stay at home and see Kiwi over FaceTime. Saying that though, the day has finally come where we are allowed to pick up Kiwi and bring her home. It was actually meant to be on the day that I'm filming this but it's going to be tomorrow morning instead which is Saturday the 30th of January and we are going to get her quite early in the morning which is why I thought it would be best for me to sit down and film this clip now. I honestly feel like I've said all that I need to say in this intro. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head at least but I am going to just tell you now that this is not going to be a standard video. This is going to be more of a vlog from this point onwards because I will be taking you with me on this journey. We will film some bits of us picking her up and then we will film some bits of her once she gets into the house. And so I really hope that you enjoy coming on this crazy new journey with me. I cannot tell you how excited I am that we are getting our own dog. Like I said, I do have two dogs at home. I have a Jack Russell and a Staffy. I love them both so, so much and it's been so difficult not seeing them throughout lockdown. So it is going to be nice to have Kiwi home with us. I think she's just going to bring me a lot of peace and comfort and love. And honestly, what more could you want with a dog? Right, I feel like this has been a very long introduction. I did want to put out all the information to you guys at the start of this video so that we can focus more on Kiwi for the rest of it. But yeah, the next clip will be us picking her up and as you can tell by the smile on my face, I just cannot wait.
Cut the fish. This is Kiwi. <laughs>
Hi guys, so I actually haven't updated you in a while now. As you can see, I have Kiwi here with me. I don't know how long she'll stay here though because she is quite a hyperactive dog and she doesn't like sitting still for too long. I know I've only filmed one clip for this vlog so far and that was right at the start for my intro. As you can see, we've since got our lovely little puppy and she is honestly just the best thing ever. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell but she has already grown quite a bit, haven't you? <laughs> Thank you. And honestly, it feels like every day she's just getting bigger and bigger. So we'll see how big she ends up growing. I've moved you down just so that you can still see her. But I was actually so shocked with how well she adjusted to being here with us. You will have seen the clip of when we actually picked her up. And she didn't cry or anything like that. She just kind of came willingly, if that makes sense. But she wasn't stressed. She was pretty calm. And as soon as we got into the house, all she wanted to do was explore, which is brilliant. She is also okay with the cat. I mean, as okay as a dog can be. She's quite curious, and so she does tend to go up to her quite a bit and she's had a few confrontations with the cat but of course the cat has won every single one of them so I feel like she's learned to keep her distance a bit now which is always good. I will just show it to you because I feel like she's going to disappear in a minute because she's way too hyper but yeah this is Kiwi at 10 weeks old. She is a biter so I need to keep away from those teeth and I did need to wear a grey jumper in particular today because if I wear any other colour you cannot see her so I wanted to introduce you guys to her and just basically show her off to you properly. I know this has definitely been more of a vlog style video. I wanted to film a lot of clips in between all the vlog clips but that didn't happen because we basically just wanted to spend as much time as possible with her. Obviously as a puppy she's quite playful, she's quite mischievous, the biting is the main issue that we have with her but hopefully she will grow out of it soon. It was just a case of that we needed to keep an eye on her 24-7 and so it was very hard to sit down and kind of talk you through what we were doing because it was just happening in real time and we were dealing with it as it came to us. But yeah we have had her for almost three weeks now I think which is absolutely crazy to think about because I could not imagine my life without her anymore. The only thing that I do miss is my sleep. She does have a tendency to wake up in the middle of the night and scratch her cage or start barking. Yes we do keep her in a cage only at night and she is in our bedroom just so she's not alone. It's more of a way to make sure that she's safe and that she's not biting anything that she shouldn't be and getting ill or anything like that but by now she has adapted to it. She's really good. She sleeps throughout the whole night and only wakes up around half seven eight o'clock in the morning which is definitely a relief for Dom and I, especially because we're both on placement at the minute, we're both training to be teachers and so we do need to be up early, there's a lot of uni work alongside that, there's a lot of planning and teaching, so having a puppy in the middle of that is kind of crazy but I'm so glad that we decided to get her now, it's kind of the perfect way to train her when we are away for a lot of the day and yeah she seems to have adapted really really well. I'm not too sure what else I can say to you guys, like I said I was meant to be updating you as and when everything was happening with her the first weekend that we got her but that just went straight out the window. Obviously puppies do take up a lot of your time. I feel like we have to watch her every minute of every day apart from when she's sleeping because she does just chew whatever's available, she does want to play and she gets into the little nooks and crannies that you'd never expect her to. For example she has gotten trapped under our sofa. We do have a sofa that reclines and so she sort of managed to get under that and she got stuck between some of the bars inside and so we had a very fun time trying to get her out of there. Don't worry she wasn't harmed or anything, it was just that she'd put her head in somewhere that she couldn't get out of and so we had to sort of move her out of it carefully. We have booked her in for her second injection as well so if you don't know dogs need two injections before they can go out and socialize and go for walks and I think the date of that is the 26th of February so there's still quite a way to go it's currently the 17th of Feb and then after that injection she does need to stay inside for another two weeks I think it is before she can actually go out so very soon we'll be allowed to take her for walks which will be so nice I feel like all that pent-up energy that she has will be spent up during the walks now which is always good even now she is currently chewing on something so I'm just watching her to make sure that she's okay Okay, it is like a fabric thing so it's fine but <laughs> you buy them toys they never chew them they want to chew everything else except them so definitely be aware of that if you do want a puppy the pros definitely outweigh the cons though like I said I could not imagine my life without her now she has just made this house completely whole we have so much love for her and yeah it feels like every day my love for her just goes stronger which I didn't think was possible but somehow it is right that is it for today's video guys I really hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed seeing this little one being introduced into our family she really doesn't want to be here right now but I want to get her in this final clip. If you like this video then don't forget to click the like button as well as the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me and this little one. Thank you so so much for watching it truly does mean the world to me and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye!